though. Let's see. Aim in. Let's see, we've classic detective two. We have two white knight characters, one Vartan character, one Astromancer, and so forth. And so on. Um, So I've now got 86 points to spend on adding skills. So, um, so support skills. Support skills basically like learning these skills. Let me equip it on other classes. Like, once you learn a skill, they it's because they're not because it's to a character, not to a class. You can then equip them on other classes. So, for example, if I learn the one-handed sword skill. And then pick up then or two-handed sword skill or what have you and then take uh mage or cleric or what have you yeah okay, let's do cleric let's say i take the one hand the sword skill and then decide to change class for dune into cleric i can then equip one-handed i can then have him equip one-handed sword instead of being stuck with say cudgels um And so these ones boost damage against different type of units. And theoretically, well, you do theoretically recruit them later. And I'm not high enough level to have those yet. Anyway. Outside of like skill of uh, class skills or weapon skills, useful ones to have are trajectory because that gets you the ability to be shoot using a bow, it lets you know if, that your shot's going to go through, not hit any friendly characters. Um, but like the, these ones here, same sort of thing. I almost have 90 points. Not using much of a range weapon yet anyway. Also. Yeah, and so using triangle and the uh, or square and the right buttons will help you tell. Okay, what are my prerequisites for the skill? I need level level three to use that one. Get dodge. I need to be level six. sort of thing also when characters pick up skills they don't necessarily have to start with the skills they don't necessarily have to follow the rules for example vice does not actually meet the prerequisite for counter attack but he knows it is Find time for this with Master Nybeth away. Listen well, we face the rogues who slew Bapal and his win and his men. Underestimate them and share Bapal's fate. Give these rebel swine a taste of Galgastani seal. Amorica shall never fall. 
Vanquish or Garus? Check on this one. Okay, oops, I actually uh, should have. So I made a minor goof. Let me go back to the title screen. You learn. Okay, oh, also you level up your skills uh, as well. Okay. I think that also the, the leveling up the support skills boosts your. Um, I just realized leveling the skills boost like how much you damage you do and that sort of thing. I think with those weapons. Forgot about that. Let's try this again. Um, I don't know what this dialogue was before. Check to see if there's any treasure points on this map that I can take advantage of. Well, not in this one, so it looks like there's missed potential in the first map, but not in this one. Oh well. Okay. This one's just a chance to just get your hits in. Go up to here. So with sufficiently advanced attack skill, you also get to Now her defense skill, you can just straight up block attacks. Interlopers, why do you meddle in our affairs? Our struggle with the Wallster goes back generations. It's no concern of yours. Or do you seek to claim Valeria as Lotus does? I will have your answer. We are men without a country. We have lent them our swords because it suits us to do so. And we're looking... That's a dick move there, Canopus. Looking for mercenary work as it happens. We're not hiring by any chance. And where you leave for a bigger purse? We need outsiders to do our killing. Also, like, when you're offering to... When you're on a job and you're soliciting additional bids from the people... From your opponents of the people who hired you, that's not a good look and it's not very professional. Shame on you, Cannabis. Makes a good point. Let's rescue the Duke, collect a reward, and be done with it. A craven who chooses lucre over loyalty deserves only one reward. Caster. Okay.
So I believe they gave the air averse effect, which basically gives the status effect the status effect of air attacks now two extra damage against you. When your prayers become a beacon, guide to gods and heal your heal your blight. I think this is like with um Final Fantasy Tech where you get a spiel sometime before casting a spell. chance to hit any of these guys like every single enemy i run into like ah oh, uh, like oh you dance deck this guy nope 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 he died before i get a chance to act oh maybe this next guy nope nope he got taken out too like my fellow party members are just too efficient i'm not completely complaining but still I mean, as long as this is still on the map, I still get it, but they do want to avoid the chance of another per enemy picking it up. There we go, there's the boss. All right, now you're actually trying to attack me, okay. And you get killed before I have a chance to do anything about you. And counter attacks don't do much full damage. Again, like put about 25% of what you would normally do, but it's if you successfully block and then land a counter attack, it ain't nothing to sneak at. All right, now I get to attack, act, and uh, act, attack, and hit somebody. I'm attacking the boss head on, which is not ideal. Fifteen percent, seventy percent hit chance, fifteen percent chance to hit, or fifteen percent hit chance, fifteen damage, no counter attack, less damage if I do the hit with the buckler for obvious reasons. And it's blocked. Alright, so remember earlier... Oh wait, we get that. We get to get to act again. Okay, so we'll talk about the Paralytic Wave in just a second. Alright, so remember the Paralytic Wave earlier? which we did in the last fight, which, um, on the last mission, which Warren did, which caught an enemy, but also inadvertently caught Katia at the same, same time. Nice little bit of unintentional, like, not unintentional, but of subtle tutorialization here. We had Vice standing here at this level here. Notice there's an elevation difference. So some spell, but he was not affected teaching us that spells do not necessarily carry over, they some spells don't carry over between um, ele between elevations. Move, I, I move here and then attack. And I have a 100% hit chance. I move here, elevations have a 95% hit chance, also less damage. Oh, we're also, he's like, also he's paralyzed. So it's still like, 
so having higher elevation, having having the high ground, gives me a increased possibility of hitting. And I landed a crit. Altos uh, has been using has been using the one-handed sword skill. It's been gaining experience points. Yeah, this is where the um, wanting to pick up the, pick up um, drops before enemies do becomes a big deal, because that's a tarot card. Those are actually fairly powerful spells, items, and so if you don't have them, so if there was an enemy over here in a position to grab, was in a position to grab it, and they ended their turn on it, I would just not get that card. And it tells you immediately what it does, as opposed to say the bag, where it said, "Oh, you got you got to go to the bag and find out." So I can't get to you. Best I can do right now is move over, grab a bag of loot. And the enemy will rush. Will we'll hopefully move this way, and I can grab some stuff off it. He's done. My life for Galgastan. And quest complete. Night mark, so I can change the character tonight if I feel so inclined. More Rafal, that is a spell. Your class leveled up. Days to freedom is sweet. You have my thanks. We do still that Wallace or Luce gets came to my aid. Denim, was it? Now that you and your friends are a gift from the great father himself. Wallace the Boon is great and our future bright. You're not alone in your royalty. Our loyalty. Upon word of your grace's release, many Walster have left their haunts and hideaways for Amorica. And there's still time for the Galgasani come to remedy my freedom. But not long, I fear. We must regroup. I must ask the tale our guests have told us is indeed the truth. On my sword it is. We are out we are outcasts from our land. No doubt your sword. Whiskers of your companion, lady. I hear a diviner matching its description was ever at the side of King Tristan when your new Zenobia came into being to the past. Warren was a character in the original attack the original Ogre battle. Um, I haven't actually played through that game all the way, so I don't know how that story pans out. Maybe there's multiple endings. I'm not sure which ending is canonical. The you, Sir Lancelot, were captain of the Holy Knights. Did the Saint King so brazen as to cast out the very men who placed him upon the throne? I too have heard tell it's divine, but I am not he. Lotus plays this with the Dark Knight Slosloria. How do we know that you are not some new menace, Venus? Not 
I visited on Valeria. If your news nobody does not take your usurp, I would have your proof. Your grace, these holy knights risked their own lives to win your freedom. In a man can only claim knighthood when he serves a worthy lord. Such a man, that is. Have your word, then. Its proof shall be in your deed. You sought a reward, you shall have it, and employment besides. I would have you trained our wellest lawyers and guards and soldiers here in Armorica. As you wish. Now, Denim, your father was no boya in Abun Albuna in Goya, was he not? I met myself once, a wise man, Albuna Prancet. What happened in Goya was tragedy. Please, your grace, you must avenge our father. You know all the people of Goya. The enemy before us is Galgastan. We must come. That I shall be nice. Not to touch yourselves. You could join my table at Almorica. Us? Knights? As young heroes of Wallister, you shall serve as a signing example to your clansmen. But have you given knights in my direct service? You will be the spear that strikes swift and true. Well, what say you? Of course. I mean, as you wish, your grace. Now, Denim's with me on this. Excellent. Now, if you are to come in that the order, you will require a name. They put the name for Denim's Order of Knights. Okay. The players are friends with putting yeah. So I need to figure out what the name is going to be. Just a moment. So, I figured a name. Well, I'm doing this for and let's play for RPG Net, going up on the video games open board. Only have twelve letters. I can't call it the virtuous gaming order in twelve letters, or the the valiant the valiant game the valiant gaming order. Um, so instead, I will just acronym it with punctuation marks. The order VGO. Not the order VGO. Valiant Gaming Order. The order of Valiant Gaming Order. Yes. Uh, no. Uh. Let's think of something appropriate. E. Or I think of an appropriate RPG net in joke that, that will accurately encapsulate. What I'm looking for. Quick look and see what threads are on the on the page. Looking forward right now, and something will come to mind. Um.
Well, um, let's do this. I didn't expect this much, um, serious this time, <laughs> this being the tough spot. Um, let's just go with the G. Wait a minute. I think I know. Um, for that. So we're looking for so initiative is the term used in role-playing games for art for who goes first. And in septum, Latin word for um for beginning an undertaking. The order in septum, I like that. I think it's the right name too. Right length too. Septus, actually, I think that would look better. Order in Septus. There we go. That'll work. Order of Inceptus. Order of Inceptus, yes, a fine name. You'll go far, I'm certain. Too much for you to do. Our first task takes you to the town of Cresario to the southwest. Captain of my knights, Sir Leonar, has gone into there in pursuit of the former overseer of this castle, a necromancer named Nybeth. Truth be told, he's having a harder time of it than was expected. Going to Crusado to aid him. Understood? Before you leave, we want to fill your ranks with soldiers from Amorica and purchase such gear as you require. Literally, as coins, I'm giving you 30,000 goth from the treasury, and allow me to appoint a few of my knights to serve under you. Leave as soon as you are ready. Tell us your grace, we won't let you down. Then may victory and glory await you, long heroes of Wallace. Okay. Well, there's a gainful employee after all, my thanks. No, it is I who thank you. Drop to aid one of the Duke's men. I regret we cannot join you. Above all else, stay alive. When to lose, while there's life, there's hope. Remember that. Let's not forget, the dead get no second chances. If dead death were our aim, there are swifter ways to go about it than soldier. True enough, still, do not needlessly seek out danger. Enough will find you as it is. Of course. For the hills of Goya, are not, I must thank you for saving his grace the Duke. I need to accept my thanks on behalf of us all. And you are? Vavnes Luxario, knight in service of the Duke. I'd ride Eleanor's aid myself, but his grace has other need of me. Task calls to you. If you're a friend, we took back this castle, didn't we? In that manner of speaking, I suppose. Now what manner would that be? Peter fellow knights drew off the garrison defending the castle. Else would not have succeeded. The rest of others, we would there would be if it were not for the sacrifice of others, we would be no heroes of Goliath now. Make no mistake, I have high hopes for you. Let's not put people behind us if we are to put an end to this endless war. What are your heroics of bold and stuff? Then you would hold us up as heroes to serve some stratagem, is that it? 
Boy, Vice, you are weirdly cynic. I mean, probably yes, but still, that's a bit too cynical there. If you do not like it, give truth to the lie. Write your own fate on the battlefield. If fate fought, smile on us both, Dave, Dave Ravnus. This great variety with war friends, yes? Remember, they do no good sitting in your coffins. Arms, spells, provisions, even a single magic ring. The difference between victory and defeat. She thinks highly of herself. I pray we're not near when she falls of such. Wow, Caddy! A third wants to join the party. Okay, so this is where we can also choose to accept unit. Desired class. Finally, review the finishing moves of your units. Finishing moves require different weapon skill ranks to use. See the play guide in the Warren Report for more details. Ah, okay. Hit my game. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider packing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.